Spinella video, I showed you how to um, make VAT payment via Remitter platform. In this video, I'll be demonstrating on how to make payment uh, for VAT uh, for withholding tax on the Remitter platform and including uploading the the schedule. So, um, the last video I showed you how to get to the um, federal government billard platform on Remitter. So now let's search for federal in our revenue service. Uh, what we want to pay for is withholding tax. In this case, it will still be using Pillarcraft as an example. So I'll be putting Pillarcraft um, TIN number. As I told you, once you put your TIN number, please go to confirm that your name match is actually populated so that you're sure that um, the database actually pulled out your name. Now, the tax period, like, it should be for the month ended, and we have 21 days, so it can be any date, really. So, but in this case, I'm using um, May 2020. And I want to select the period of still May 2020. Now, so the next thing is that we need to actually upload a schedule of return. Now, please, I, I must be frank with you that this schedule of return is a very um, sensitive thing. Somehow, I don't know how Remita has done it. It, it. it doesn't work as I expected it to work. So I just show you the way I work with it using my own way of making sure that I do it. And when I'm returning and I return another schedule with my um, annual return, my, sorry, my monthly return. So let's generate a sample data, which is here. You click here to generate a sample upload. It shows the, the kind of um, data they want. So let's open it up. Now they've actually given us um, a bit of um, data, like a sample data, which we need to actually change to the company and the things we want to do. So in this case, say I'm paying a company and the company is um, Tidesland. Now the Tidesland is their team number, is an example place. The name is um, Thaisland. Sorry, um, Limited, and the address is one twenty six Chevron Drive. And I need to put an invoice now, which is the invoice that you use to pay um, the invoice that the supplier actually gave. Again, this is supposed to help in terms of auditing. But like I said to you guys, somehow it doesn't work. Because what I what I don't do is that in this schedule, I don't try to put in um, a lot of lines. I only put one line because I found out that when I'm trying to put the schedule as it should be in, in the manual sense or putting a lot of lines and different... Um, um, supplier i always have this issue so in fact if i have different suppliers i don't mind doing it one after the other sometimes you know because really most times most businesses have maybe one two three withholding tax payments um in a month however if you're a big business that you have like hundreds of people that you need to remit their withholding tax um i will need to show you in another video how that is done So let's say this is Thaisland um, Thais 001 invoice number. The contract date is still part of 2020. And the construct was for consultancy. Consultancy. The contract was 
say fifty thousand and the contract was for consultancy the rate was ten percent and the amount that we're paying is five thousand naira. so now please this is also very important when you're about to say first delete this header space in the template because somehow like i said i i think the meta can do better in this template is not very intelligent so so you delete that then you save it you can change the name i'm just you know for example i'm not changing it you can change the name to whatever it is that you can you can remember so but may i already see that it's a withholding taxes with file number five so i can actually look look far for it in my in my system so i come here i come to add it so withholding tax five i open it and the meter will attempt to pop populate it now once it's once it's fully um imported what you notice i'm going to have upload is successful and the count and like i said ordinarily what the way this should work is that if i have 10 different um suppliers all the then i'm going to have count 10. like but like i said to you guys i have tried using it in that manner it didn't really maybe maybe i will need to be taught by remita the best way to do this or somebody you can put in a comment section how you maybe the error i'm making but what i do on this remita platform is to do it one count at a time so now you can see once you do that it's going to not populate the amount to pay by itself based on whatever you have uploaded the total amount of what you have uploaded so now i put in my phone number put in my email And I go to how do I want to pay? I want to pay via the bank branch because I want to use my online platform to pay this withholding tax. In the next video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use GTB to pay it. Bank branch. I'm not a robot. And then I click on submit. So I have my remitter retriever. I have what we call IRR code. Which is remitter retriever reference, which is one nine one nine zero four zero zero nine six nine 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 two. So in the next video, you can actually print this invoice um, and take it to your bank. And take it to your bank, and once it gets to your bank, they will use this code to retrieve it. But like I said, me, I'll be using my GCB online payment platform to pay. So in the next video, I'll be showing you how to do that.